Glory be to the Triune God. We all are on a pilgrimage to Calvary and the resurrection of our Lord. All the biblical readings during these days are for our self-evaluation and spiritual nourishment. Once in a driving class, the coach asked the students, why do we have brakes in our car? He got many answers. Some said to stop the car. Some others said to avoid accidents. Some said for safety of the travelers and many answers came in. But the coach stood up and with a smile he said, it is there so that you can drive fast. Dear ones, for today's meditation, we have the reading from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 6, verses 1 to 11. Here Christ and his disciples are being questioned for not observing the Sabbath. Sabbath was decided by the Lord as a day of rest from all toils and a day to worship the Lord. In the Old Testament, we can get many reference for Sabbath. The idea behind the law of Sabbath was not to hurt anyone or incur losses for anyone. It was clearly and openly meant for rest from toil and to worship the Lord. But the rabbis has made Sabbath very much mechanical. That is why the disciples of Jesus were questioned for rubbing their hands to separate the kernels. Even getting cured miraculously by the word of Jesus was a sinful act for them. In fact, law for them was something to be followed by hook or by crook. It is here that the word of Jesus should be quoted. In St. Mark chapter 2, verses 27 and 28, Jesus said, Man is not made for Sabbath, but Sabbath is made for man. Just as I shared in the story, we have brakes in our vehicles so that we can move faster. In the same way, we have constitutions and laws for the smooth movement of human life. Laws which are made for human being should not become a burden for him. Dearly beloved in the Lord, in our pilgrimage to the Calvary and the resurrection of our Lord, let us try not to be like the hypocritic Pharisees and the rabbis, but like the good Samaritan who thought of the track and saved the life of his neighbor and loved and cared him. So I end here. May the Lord God 
through his Holy Spirit, shower his blessings upon us. Amen.